here with the fabulous Lisa Rayleigh. How are you? I'm really well, thank you. So great to be back in Scotland. I love it here. And the sun's shining. I know, that's what I want. <laughs> yeah, we're not wrapped up like winter <laughs> anymore. And you're here to tell us all about Strictly Confidential. Tell me a bit about it. Um, it's a fantastic new show written and directed by the wonderful Craig Revel Horwood. And um, he fancies doing it about me. <laughs> it's a musical spectacular coming to loads of theatres, to Aberdeen, to Glasgow and to Edinburgh in Scotland. And um, yeah, it's there's fun for everybody. There's acting, singing, of course the dancing. And you get to find out loads about the professional dancers in the show, how they got to be pros on Strictly Come Dancing. And they've got great stories to tell. And uh, Craig thought it'd be a nice idea as well to incorporate bits of my life, like from drama school to me getting Strictly and sort of do a narrative um, on my life. I'll be ever indebted to Strictly because it's just been fantastic. And I just have a time in my life and whoever plays me and Robin together at the BBC needs their own award, definitely. Because that made it, you know, we, we, we're best friends or we're best friends for life. And, and I think that camaraderie between the pair of us came up, you know, across on screen and, and sort of that's made us who we were really. And we just had a ball. With Strictly Confidential, um, I'm out there on my own as a celebrity. So I've got to keep up with, with them, the yeah. pros. Um, yeah, I've had to keep my, my fitness up completely and it's more the cardio side of it, you know, to, uh -huh. to keep dancing and keep your physique, you know, up to, up to scratch really. Yeah. We are going to give you a real insight to a lot of the gossip uh -huh. that happens that we've never told before. Yeah, and there is quite a bit, yeah, because in the series we're told like, you know, don't say anything, don't say anything, but yeah, if you come see Strictly Confidential, you'll get to know a lot about what really goes on. Michael Vaughan, right? He was a four dipper by the end, you know, the false tan. So everyone starts the series, you know, with a one dip, then a little bit more a two dip. No, I swear to you, by the end, Michael Vaughan was a four dipper. Yeah. I loved playing Mandy Dingle, you know, seven wonderful years of my life. Um, but I do feel like as an actor, I've done that now. And, and, and it's the whole, it's like Faulty Towers. Leave it to 14 episodes and everyone remembers it as, you know, they enjoyed it and loved it. And I sort of feel that way with Mandy because she was loved, you know, and people did care about her. But I feel that I've done that now and there's so many roles I've played since then that I sort of want to keep putting new hats on and, you know, but who knows, maybe when I'm 60 I'll be still in my leopard print, you know, <laughs> with a baby, who knows, yeah, you never know. Paddy'd still love her. I wouldn't rule out like the West End, I think that's an obvious choice for, for me next, you know, it's, as an actor that's every everyone's dream as an actor, you know, to be in the West End, but you have to watch this space. For Strictly Success, um, it's a lot in your spine. If you're doing a ballroom, full full spine, and as the Russians say, if it is not hurting, you'll not do it right. So you've got to that full giraffe neck, literally feel like a giraffe, like to the point where it really does hurt you. And then if you're doing like a cha-cha, a Latin, you know, you want to like funk it up a bit, you can do like a Beyonce bum, but you've got to keep your legs completely straight. Okay. That's what they'll be looking at. With a cha-cha, with a cha-cha, your legs have no bend in them whatsoever. And catch the boy, did me all right. Yeah. <laughs> Don't let him catch you, you do it. <laughs>